So there you are in your relationship and something's going on and you want to believe the best in people, but there's something nagging inside where you're like, is this right or not? So you send us the email and we'll look over it for you, tell you if it's shady or not. Hey, Bert Show, my boyfriend and I are having a debate that has turned into an argument. Need your help to settle it. He and I have been together for three years. In those three years, there have been many times where I have given him the password to various things. I used almost the same password for everything. She writes, I know, I know, I know. Don't need a lecture about internet security. <laughs> there are some people like if you if you know one of their passwords, mm-hmm. you know all of them. There's a lot of people there. Right. Uh, but don't, it's probably not you. And if you're using 0000, that's great. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're totally safe. No, no one will ever guess that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow. It's the same password for everything unless I have to change it and can't use the old password or if the site is specific about its password requirements. So not only does he know the password to my email and social media, he could probably access about every account or website that needs a password. This doesn't bother me because I trust him completely and I have nothing to hide from him. Well, a few days ago, he was making dinner. I needed some information about a party we'd been invited to. He told me that he couldn't remember specifics off the top of his head, but he would check the Evite when he was done cooking. His laptop was sitting out, so I told him, just give me a password, and I'll just check the Evite right now. He refused to give me his password. Instead, he got annoyed that I wouldn't wait washed and dried his hands, and walked over to the computer to type in his password. I asked why he wouldn't just give me the password. He couldn't understand why I'm offended that he won't let me know it. He said that it's his personal password, and there was no reason for me to know it. I told him that I would never use it, but that it just bothers me that he either doesn't trust me or had something he really doesn't want me to see. This started as a debate about it being appropriate or not, to know someone's password. This debate caused a huge fight. He thinks it's wrong for me to want to know. I think it's shady that he won't just tell me. So I'd like to know from you guys, do you guys share passwords with your significant others or do you refuse and act shady like my boyfriend? That is a leading question. (laughs) Your Honor, that is leading. Uh, Or do you refuse and act shady like my boyfriend from Adelaide? All right, you guys. This is a tough one. Because I've always been able to see both sides of this. Um, nope. <laughs> that, that, doesn't make, that doesn't make for fun radio. <laughs> no, uh, okay, yes. It, I think you can consider it shady. I do think that's fair. Because, I mean, why not, right? Like, what are you going to see? What's the harm in it? If you trust me, then what's the problem with giving me your password? I get that. At the same time, does being in a relationship with someone mean you can you can have no privacy anymore? Like, you cannot. Hmm. Maybe you, you, it's just your personal stuff. And you don't want somebody to go through it. Maybe you're not doing anything at all. You just don't want someone to have so much access to everything about your life. I can also see that side. You too. just said you were gonna pick a side. I know, <laughs> I know. Um <laughs> fine. Uh, uh it's a little shady. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Fine. Well, it's what, a little shady. What's shady. the percentage of shady oh, for there you? There you go. Uh 75. 75. 75 percent shady. Majority shady. Yep. There. I'm sorry, I'm shocked you went majority shady. I, I really did. thought you were gonna go like 25% shady. <laughs> no, I'm trying, I'm trying to mature. I'm trying to grow. <laughs> um, yeah, I have mixed feelings about this also. And I know Cassie, who's not here today, she's recovering from some surgery. She and I kind of have the same thoughts on it that I do feel like you should be able to have some privacy in your relationship. We can be in love with each other, we can be intimate with each other. I am not hiding anything on any of my accounts. At this point, Tiffany can look at anything that she wanted to. But there was a time there where I was like, no, you know what? I do have personal conversations in there between other people that I would like to keep private. And also, there was a fear that the way it is written and the way that she is going to interpret some things might be totally different leading to an argument, right? So at one point, I was pretty protective of it. Not that I was... Maybe in the very beginning I was hiding stuff. But (laughs) after a couple of months, I wasn't. And she has total access to it. But I do... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to argue the other side. I do think just because you're in love and you share a life together, you're allowed to have some things that are private. My turn? 
Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Bart and I have access to all of each other's stuff. Yeah. It's not a big deal. We don't go into each other's stuff. And it's a good thing he has access to my email because, as I stated before, I forget to tell him things. So that's <laughs> how he finds out about our life is by going through my email, which I'm totally fine with. So I think it's an issue. She was sitting at the computer, needed the password to get into the invite, and he was so adamant about not giving it up. It, that just doesn't compute for me. Doesn't make sense. Um, I wouldn't even say it's so much shady. I feel like there's another word there for the reason why he's so overprotective about it. But if that's what he wants to do, my suggestion for her is go in and change all your passwords so, so he doesn't have access yeah, to any of your stuff. Right. There you go. That sounds mature. What do you say? I never claim to be mature, Bert. <laughs> it does sound even. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. When I've been in this situation in the past, in order to avoid a fight, I would just give her the password mm-hmm. and then change it. Okay. <laughs> That's what he should have done. Yeah, I would so do she that. never used it? No, she used it. Oh, but then as soon, like, and after she uses it, I would go in and change it. And, and she wouldn't know I changed it. And then I do think, like, if you give the password, does that give them the right to go through all of your emails from a super long time ago, man? No, yes. see, now, if, that's, if, if they're doing that, that's shady. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's shady on their part. If you have it and you need access to it for a specific thing, that's one thing. If you use it and then you abuse it, that's a completely different scenario. Hey, Brooke, we got about 30 seconds here. Where are you on this? Well, in some instances, it could be shady, but um, I'm the same way. I don't give my password up because I've never had to create new ones because I don't give my passwords up. But I do have my boyfriend's passwords to everything. The only difference is is I, he has access to all my stuff. It's always open. He can get on it anytime he wants. I'm just not going to give my password because I don't want to create new ones. Okay. It is a pain. I am really looking forward to a time where it's just like all a retina check or something like that because (laughs) it feels to me like once a day I can't remember a password and have to change it and then re-remember it. The Burt Show. Like what you just watched? Well, you can get a lot more of The Burt Show for free on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your favorite podcasts.